Main principles for the practice of insight meditation with the four foundations of mindfulness. 1. Keep the mind on the present. The mind focusing on the abdomen or the right left foot must note the rising falling or the right left foot stepping exactly as the moment as the movement occurs. The mind's noting rising and the rising movement of the abdomen must be simultaneous. Noting rising must not happen before or after the rising movement. The mind's noting falling and the falling movement of the abdomen must be simultaneous. Noting falling must not happen before or after the falling movement. While the mind is noting right, the right foot must be lifting simultaneously. While the mind is noting move, the foot must be stepping forward. While the mind is noting <coughs> ing, ing, the foot must be touching the floor or the ground. Apply the same principles and process to the left foot. Why is the present moment emphasized? Defilements can only be eliminated by the power of concentration. Without acknowledgement of the present moment, meditation practice cannot progress because momentary concentration kani kasa madi cannot gather. Noting the body mind in the present moment develops and strengthens momentary concentration. As a result, the controlling faculties, faith, effort, mindfulness, concentration and wisdom will become more powerful, like a knife that is useful because it has been well sharpened. 2. <coughs> Practice continually. Mindful prostration. A posture of bowing with the forehead, the hands and the knees touching the floor and mindful walking <coughs> and sitting for the prescribed period must be repeated continually. During, during the break, try to be mindful and note minor movements in daily activities such as washing the face, taking a shower, eating, defecating, urinating and stretching or bending the arms. Even when you lie down to sleep, note lying, lying, and note the rising, falling of the abdomen until you fall asleep. When prostrating, we focus mindfulness on the hands. When walking, we focus mindfulness on the feet. When sitting, we focus mindfulness on the abdomen and various points of the body. 3. Practice with the three valuable factors. Effort at tapi, be determined and try hard. Attentiveness, satima. The mind should know before body movements or thoughts arise. Conscientiousness, sampadano. The mind conscientiously follows and notes the body and the mind in every movement. As the person rocking a cradle keeps his eyes on the cradle line all the time. 4. The five powers, Bala and controlling faculties, Indriya, must be in balance. Faith, Sada and Wisdom, Panya, should be in equal proportion. Effort, Vidya and concentration, Samadhi, should be equally applied. The more mindfulness sati one has, the better the practice is, as mindfulness controls the other faculties. Much faith and little wisdom allow greed, loba, to arise. Much wisdom and little faith allow the arising of doubt, vichikicca. Much effort and little concentration allow the arising of distraction, uttacca, kuchuka. 
Much concentration and little effort allow drowsiness to not be to arise. <coughs> How fast meditation progresses and succeeds depends on balancing the controlling faculties. To increase faith, keep the mind on the body, mind, morality, concentration, wisdom, and the present moment. To increase effort, try harder, do with little food and sleep, but practice a lot. To increase mindfulness, be always aware of the body-mind and keep noting their movements. To increase concentration, firmly focus attention on the mind object that is being noted. Hold fast to whatever mind object is noted by the mind. When the mind moves from that mind object, note the movement as well. To increase wisdom, always be aware of the body-mind in the present moment, while reflecting on the three common characteristics, insight, wisdom, the path, fruition and the banner. Significance of noting the present moment. Acknowledging the present is the heart of the insight meditation. The work of mindfulness is to be continually aware of and to note the body, mind, in the present moment. Noting which develops wisdom, prevents unwholesomeness, there are many advantages to perpetually noting. Concentration is tremendously strengthened. Sin is prevented from entering the mind, as noting the present moment closes all opportunities for it to enter. The arising and cessation of the body, mind, are perceived continuously. The three characteristics of existence are perceived clearly. Therefore, Keep noting what happens to the body, feeling, the mind, and mind objects. Life is worthwhile when you acknowledge the body-mind. Benefits of the present ing ing form. 1. It increases and strengthens the momentary concentration, kani ka samadhi. 2. It breaks the continuum of the body-mind, thus each bodily and mental movement is separated from the other and seen clearly. 3. Impermanence, the inevitability of suffering and non-self are seen clearly. Benefits of Walking Meditation Lord Buddha spoke of five benefits of walking meditation. One. Endurance for long distance walks. 2. Endurance for meditation practice. 3. Better digestion of food. 4. Reduction or amelioration of digestive health problems. 5. Better concentration. Concentration from walking meditation endures longer. The Buddha's purposes for insight meditation. 1 purify the mind, 2. To get rid of sorrows, regrets and lamentation, 3. To surmount physical and mental sufferings, to penetrate the truth of life, 5. To extinguish suffering and gain nibbana. Results of Meditation Lord Buddha pointed out four advantages to the practice of insight meditation. 1. When dying, one is mindful and recalls one's own past virtues, such as meritorious and wholesome actions. Thus, the merits from those actions are present in the mind. 2. A blissful state of existence is gained after death. 3. The seed, the foundation, to attain in later lives the path, fruition and nibbana has been sowed. For one who has been practicing Vipassana meditation continually for seven years is rewarded with either the following. The stage of Anagami and to become an Arahant in this very existence. All dedicated practitioners can be assured 
of obtaining these four positive results.